I'm Katie, and I'm a licensed esthetician. And I'm Trina. I'm a beauty device junkie. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Beauty Beyond 40. Today, I'm filming with Katie, the organic esthetician. If you're not familiar with Katie, I have been getting professional myolipped microcurrent facials from her for a couple of years now, and she is amazing. She's so talented, and I've learned so much from her. And I'm so excited that we could come together today and share with you how you can get the most out of your microcurrent devices, whether you're going to an esthetician or whether you're doing them at home. In today's video, we're gonna show you one of my signature treatments. We're gonna walk you through what the treatment looks like so that you can see what a professional microcurrent treatment looks like. And then we'll talk about how you can use microcurrent at home with something like the QT Plus. Stick around because we have an exclusive promo code. We have an exciting giveaway and then we're gonna answer all of your microcurrent questions. Earlier in the week, Trina came in for a microcurrent facial with me. I see clients here in LA and in my studio in the Napa Valley. Trina and I both make microcurrent and device tutorials and we get asked so many questions about microcurrent. And so in this video, we're going to cover some of the most frequently asked questions that we both get on our social media so that we can help demystify these devices and microcurrent for all of you tuning in at home. Before we get into the professional microcurrent facial, I wanted to quickly tell you about the special exclusive promo code we have to offer. It's April 10 and you can save 10% for the Myla 600 if you're a licensed esthetician or for the QT Plus that you can use at home. This code is valid for the month of April only and it doesn't stack so you can't use it with any other codes, right? Exactly. Keep in mind our normal promo code is only 5%, so 10% is a really good deal. Now would be a really great time to shop. Stay tuned till the end of this video because we're also hosting a giveaway both on my channel and on Trina's. So stay tuned till the end to find out how you can win your very own QT Plus. We thought it would be really fun to share with you how this video came to be and how we started working together. Yeah. I started my YouTube channel when I turned 40. Gosh, that was almost eight years ago now. And I started it because I felt like there weren't a lot of videos for women over 40. It was an underrepresented segment on YouTube and I started creating skincare videos and then I started creating device videos. I started really getting into microcurrent and it started to kind of take off and then I found Katie. I think I started my YouTube channel around the same time. I had a hand injury and I couldn't use my hands for like three years. Oh wow. Um, repetitive motion injury. And so I had a little bit of a meltdown and was trying to figure out how I could still be in the skincare industry without touching people. And oh. so that's how my YouTube channel came to be. I wanted to help people with their skin, even if I couldn't help them in the treatment room. And so I started making videos and my device tutorials are the ones that became fairly successful and I kind of went with them. We became internet friends and we would DM each other and ask each other questions back and forth. I love gizmos and gadgets. I think it's such a great way to enhance your regular skincare routine and really accelerate the results that you can achieve at home. How long have you been an esthetician? I don't even know that actually. Mm, I was licensed in 2010, so it's been 13 oh, wow. years. Yeah. I love working with Katie because she gives the esthetician perspective and I give the consumer perspective and together we make a really good team. I think my thing in addition to using modalities at home and in the treatment room is using clean skincare. Yes. So that's why I'm the organic esthetician. I look for organic when I can and clean formulation so that I'm not adding anything to the skin or to the body that's actually going to work against the health of my skin. So I always start my service by asking my client what their main concerns are and what they're wanting to achieve during our time together. My main concern, which you already know if you follow any of my social media channels, are my hooded eyes. I'm always trying to lift my hoods. Uh, microcurrent always helps with that. And the other concern is my jowls. My jowls have really started coming in lately. Mine and I'm, I'm really self-conscious about it, like when I see videos. So it was my hoods and my jowls. So knowing that, I really focus on both of those areas during our facial. So as you see the treatment as we move forward, 
I'm gonna spend a lot of time around the mouth, relaxing these muscles. We hold so much tension around our mouth. And I'm gonna do a lot of lifting along the brow and the forehead to really help give Trina the results that she's wanting to see. Here I am arriving at Freya Collective in Los Angeles for my facial. So this is my opening cleanse. I always start with an oil cleanse and I follow with a water-based cleanse. I'm a big proponent of a long cleansing massage. It's such a nice way to prep the skin before microcurrent or before any other modality you might be using during your treatment. And it felt amazing. I think I don't spend enough time cleansing my face at home. I think a lot of people speed through the cleanse and it's the foundation of your entire skincare routine. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Fortuna Skin Replenishing Balm. I love that slip for facial massage. So I'm following my cleansing massage with the Sculptural Lifting Massage. And so that's what we're doing here. I'm starting with some lymphatic pumps and then we go into a more vigorous sculpting massage. This part felt amazing. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole facial because I just, I don't do this at home. So I loved learning the moves that you did on my face. Here you can see she's focusing on my lips and then she moves to my jowls, which I am very grateful for. And then she moves up to my eye and forehead area. So Trina's main concern, aside from her hooded eyelids, was her jowls. And so you doing an intraoral massage is such a great way to really address the muscles around the mouth because they hold so much tension. So it might seem a little weird to have someone put their hands in your mouth, especially <laughs> during a facial, but intraoral massage or buccal massage is such a fantastic way of really addressing all of these muscles around the mouth. There's a bunch of muscles that all connect and form attachments here at the corners of the mouth. And Trina's not alone. Jowl formation and, and addressing jowls is a big concern for a lot of my clients. I think it's one of the top FAQs on all my social media is what do I do about my jowls? It's why I just made a <laughs> video on how to address your jowls and marionette lines at home. Click down in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> so I know this is a microcurrent video, but not everyone has access to microcurrent at home. And so I think that it's important to share other ways that you can release tension in the muscle. And facial massage is a really great way to do that. It's also a fantastic complement to your microcurrent treatments because it preps the muscle, it gets blood flow going, it warms up the tissue to allow the current to flow more readily into the skin. Intraoral massage is something that I've added into my treatments in the last year and my clients love it. They think it's so relaxing. It feels a little bit weird at first, but you'll get over that really quickly, don't worry. So after I complete the facial massage, then I go into my exfoliating step. With Trina, I used an enzymatic exfoliation, a little bit of physical exfoliation, and then my favorite way to remove exfoliants during treatment is with BT Micro. So we use a little ultrasonic spatula to wiggle out any debris and to remove any product and any dead skin on the surface. For this facial, I went heavy on the microcurrent. I incorporated it in three different ways during our treatment. So I started with conductivity gloves. I really love using gloves during my facials because it pairs the modality with your touch. The most unique thing about every esthetician is their specific touch and feel on the skin. And using gloves is such a great way to enhance that to electrify your fingertips. So I started with gloves and then I followed with a probe treatment. And then I finished with a sheet mask that we then electrified. I love the gloves at home because it really allows you to feel the muscle and target exactly what you're trying to achieve. And because you don't need gel, you just use water, it's so much easier, I feel like, to maintain conduction. It's also a cheaper cost yeah, per treatment. That's true, home. no gel. Less <laughs> cleanup. You just throw the gloves in the wash after each use. Oh, and you can wash them. Oh, you can throw them in your washing machine. Oh, I didn't know that. You just take the little, um, the little snaps off. And what's cool about mm. the gloves is that they work with the Myelid QT Plus. So you can get all of these other treatments in your handheld device for at home. That's so great. I'm starting with the 
long setting. Um, I'm stretching tight muscles here. I'm really working Trina's depressors in the areas around her mouth. And then I'm working up into the forehead to really smooth out those 11s or any fine lines across the forehead. And from there, I'm moving into the short program on the Mile of 600, where I'm shortening the muscle to lift and contour the face. It and feels so good. I don't feel the current, but it because the gloves are like grippy, they have like a texture yeah. to it, it feels like a facial massage. And on my end, I really feel like I'm sculpting her face. And it feels like it. We stopped to take a picture and you can see on the right side, my face is so much more lifted than the left side. It's a remarkable difference how much more lifted one side of my face is. It definitely was. I apply connectivity gel and now I'm using the probes. So I really feel like we're able to fine tune the muscles with the probes where the electrical current was diffused across my whole hand with the gloves. Now it's concentrated into those tips of the balls of the probes. I feel like you can get much more precise movement too, exactly. right? Yeah. yeah. You can feel it like when you're, when it's being done to your face, it's so interesting because you can really feel what's happening. Whereas when you're doing it yourself, you're looking in the mirror and paying so much attention, but it's just an incredible learning experience to feel what she's doing to my face during a professional facial. Yeah, I think it really helps. I mean, you were saying like, I did a movement that you didn't normally do at home. And so it's like a really nice learning opportunity. Yeah. I think the other thing too, is that you're using 400 microamps at home. And with the MyoLift 600, I have up to 600 microamps. So we really went for it. I yeah, think I was we up really did. <laughs> to 600 microamps yeah. for your entire treatment. Because I'm a frequent microcurrent user and I am often using 400 at home. So I felt like I wanted more and I asked for more. She knows that about me. So everyone's different. And I know that your skin's conditioned and that you're used to it. It's always client by client. Um, you can kind of feel them out, their skin type, what their concerns are. And then if ever there's any contraction or twitching or intense sensation, because Trina is communicating with me the entire facial, <laughs> yeah. as you can see, um, I just use that feedback to help adjust my intensity. My face looks so lifted. Wow. I mean, can you see that? This is incredible. <laughs> the 600, it really, really is a big difference. So we did this side with the probes and the gloves and just the gloves on this side. Like it's, it is incredible. Like, can you see like how much more lifted this eye even is than this eye? Yeah. Like it is insane. <laughs> like I can't believe it. <laughs> Throughout the whole treatment, I obviously did the other side. You just can't see it on film. So I applied a facial serum and then I put a sheet mask on Trina's mm -hmm. skin. I really love finishing with a treatment mask because it's a nice way to increase hydration at the end of your facial. And we're locking in all that hydration and pushing it even deeper by electrifying the sheet mask. And you're putting on these alligator clips, right? Yeah, so I place an alligator clip at either temple and it allows a low level current. I think I only used 300 microamps on the long setting. When I'm diffusing the current across the sheet mask, it's less about activating the muscle and it's more about all the other things that microcurrent does for the skin. So we're increasing product penetration and we're stimulating that cellular activity. The increase of ATP that microcurrent creates is the number one reason why I think every single person should be using microcurrent. It helps all of your cells function optimally so that you are increasing collagen elastin production and increasing hyaluronic acid production and improving the overall health of your skin. Then Katie removed the sheet mask and pressed the serum gently into my skin and then applied some moisturizer into my face and my neck to finish up my facial. Feeling amazing. <laughs> You're the best, Katie, the facial goddess. Mm. Here is a before and after photo we put together to show you my forehead. Before is on the left, the after is on the right. You can see on the right, my forehead is so much more smooth and the pigmentation is a lot less visible. And then here's another full face before and after that we put together. On the left is earlier in the day, I had an event to attend and I took a selfie. 
And then on the right hand side is that evening, a couple hours after my facial, I was heading out to dinner and I snapped another selfie and my skin just looks so much more smooth and lifted and glowy and glassy. And I'm really just amazed at the results. So Katie, I only get my professional microcurrent facials with you every other month when you come to LA. How often do you recommend I get a professional microcurrent facial? Okay, so in a dream world, I would see you every month. Oh, that would be amazing. I am based in the Napa Valley, so I see clients in LA every other month, so we can't do that. But it's also not in everybody's budget. So if you can't come monthly, I think the next best thing is once a quarter as like an intensive reset. Have someone look at your skin, talk you through your skincare routine at home, see if there's any seasonal shifts or tweaks that need to be made to really help you maintain optimal skin health. If that isn't in the cards for you, then shoot for at least one a year. Mm. It's really helpful not only to have someone do extractions on you, I suggest that you all do so many things at home, do not extract yourself at home. <laughs> have a professional do it in the treatment room. In addition to that, you'll get increased skin hydration, it's relaxing, make it your birthday gift to yourself every year. And then your esthetician can suggest products that you can use throughout the year and hopefully they'll be available to touch base with you, you know, a couple times throughout the year to answer any questions that might come up. And for me, I've had a couple professional microcurrent facials before this one we just did. So I was only averaging about once per year. And the best part for me was just to learn the movements that you were using on my face or the facial massage element that I wasn't doing at home. There's so much that you can learn in the esthetician's office that you can do at home. So I really recommend if you can only do it once a year, that's a great place to start especially because you and I are using the same brand of devices, mm -hmm. right? Trina has the at-home version of the MyoLift, mm -hmm. the QT, and some of the other devices. I'm using the professional options in the treatment rooms, so the movements are going to be really similar. I'm familiar with what these at-home devices are. I use them on myself as well. So it's easy for me to share tips and tricks mm -hmm. to help you achieve the goals that you want but her machines are stronger. So we're getting more lift, better results. It's an intensive treatment. Yeah. And so what that does is give you a better place to start from, mm -hmm. something to maintain with your MyLift QT Plus at home. You doing consistent at-home microcurrent treatments mm -hmm. allows me to achieve even better results in the treatment room mm -hmm. because we're starting at a higher baseline. And what I think is really great is that when you get the QT Plus, there's an app that comes along with it and you fill out your concerns in the app. So it asks you like, what are your concerns? So I'm like my hoods, my jowls, and it creates a program for me that I can use at home. And then I share that with Katie and then she can create custom routines for me or help me in the app. I brought my phone. She helped me create a custom program that I can do in addition to the treatments that I was already doing. Exactly. So Jowls and Hoods is the name of Trina's program. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so in addition to the other QT Plus treatments you're doing, once a week you're going to do this treatment that targets five minutes of stretch around the mouth mm -hmm. to address the depressors and gel formation and five minutes of lift at the brow to raise the mm -hmm. brow to minimize the appearance of hoods. Amazing. So if you are interested in getting a MyoLift microcurrent facial from an esthetician in your area and you possibly have the QT Plus already, then you have the QT Plus app. And if you go to one-to-one -to -one at the bottom of your app, you're able to search estheticians in your area that are using MyoLift devices. And there's so much other information in the app. There's rewards, there's access to tutorials. Yeah, the rewards is kind of cool. Yeah. So depending on how many treatments you do, you like accrue points. You can use those points to buy product on the site. So you can get accessories or gel. Gel, I think yeah. is the best yeah, one that's because a good it's one. the thing you use the most often. Yeah. It's FAQ time. So we posted on both of our social media channels uh, to get questions from all of you. And so we've compiled that list of questions and now we are going to answer them for you. Yes, we are. 
this is great because we want to make content that is helpful to you. So keep the questions coming. I get this question all the time and this actually was asked a few times, but this one is from Jen and she's saying that she would love to have a mini video specific to the lower face, including TMJ and nasolabial lines. Conveniently, I just made a <laughs> full tutorial showing you how to address jowls, nasolabials, marionette lines at home. Um, we'll link that video down below. I didn't touch on TMJ, and so I think that we can cover that really quickly. Yeah, here. sure. So for TMJ, usually that's tightness of your masseter. It's this muscle here. It runs north, south, right in front of your ear, um, about an inch to two inches wide. And because it runs north, south, when it gets tight, you're able to relax it by stretching it. Mm. So you can stretch it with your fingers, but how about with electrified fingers using your conductivity gloves? So you can put your fingers together and glide them apart, really creating a stretch in the muscle. You could easily do that with your probes as well. That sounds amazing. The next question is from Betsy and she's asking specifically about the QT plus, how do you ramp up the microcurrent for a specific treatment or do your own movements with a higher current? So what's nice about the app, there is a custom setting. So just like I created that custom treatment for Trina, you can create a custom treatment for yourself where you pick the intensity and pick the program. That's great. Yeah. There's a lot of flexibility in the app, so you don't have to use exactly what they're telling you to do. You can create your own custom programs. I do that most yeah. often on yeah. my own treatments at home. Cool. Perla Margs is asking, how many times a week do you use the QT Plus for the whole face? I know Trina says this too. Um, I am very realistic about your device routines at home. There's not a lot of time in the day. We have a lot of other stuff going on. So doing a full face microcurrent treatment daily is not in the cards for most people. Not for me. Not for <laughs> me either. So in a dream world, once a week, I think one more intensive, longer treatment weekly is going to be sufficient. Like 20 to 30 minutes, you mean? Yeah. yeah. And really taking your time with the treatment. With the QT plus. With the QT plus. Yeah. In between, you're doing a couple other treatments a week but they're shorter and they're targeted based on your specific concerns. So like you could do a mask, a quick eye lift treatment, just a couple minutes here and there. That's what I do. Totally. And I think that diversifying the way you're getting your microcurrent makes it more fun and interesting, but also allows you to get the current in different ways and address the muscle in different ways. I know we've talked about this together, but I find applying gel to my face and then removing it creates a lot of resistance mm -hmm. for me to do those routines. Yeah. So I love using a hydrating serum as my conductivity for really short treatments or using a sheet mask. And with the MyLift devices, you can tell if you're getting conduction, so you don't have to worry if it's working or not. I love that. I have lots of serums that I like to incorporate. I have some favorites, um, but you can use any serum and then check that it is getting conduction and then you don't have to remove the serum and you can move on to the rest of your skincare routine. I think that's such a good tip. It, one of the greatest things that the MyLift devices do is offers that conductivity bar. So yeah. it lets you know whether or not you're conducting current and really allows you to play around with your conduction. Tara asks, can you do the wrong movement and cause substantial problems or get the opposite effect to what you want? So I would say in general, it's pretty forgiving, but if you're doing consistent treatments, you wanna be mindful of what program you're using where. So around the mouth and specifically here in the corner at the depressors, you really want to only use the stretch program. This muscle, as it contracts, tightens this way and pulls the corner of the mouth down. So if you are activating it, you might feel like you're wanting to lift the corner of the mouth, but the way that that muscle works, you're actually pulling it down even farther. So you really want to stretch and relax that muscle. The other muscle that I would say you really want to be mindful of is the frontalis, so your forehead. Again, 
This muscle runs north-south. As it contracts, it creates those east-west lines mm -hmm. across your forehead. So you might think, oh, I want to lift my forehead. I want to lift my brow. But in reality, you want to stretch and relax it, mm -hmm. which is going to smooth it out and give you that Botox effect. So the next question is from Christina, and she said, I feel nothing at 600 microamps. So any tips are welcome. I think that's a really good question. I get asked that a lot on my channel too. So do I'm I, not yeah. feeling it. Is it working? So true microcurrent should be fairly sub-sensory. That means that you're not feeling a lot of stimulation. It's not to say that certain people won't feel sensation because you definitely will. Or maybe some days you feel it and some days you don't. Mm -hmm. So again, it's so fantastic that the Myolith devices have that conductivity bar. So it allows you to see that current is actually flowing into the skin. Another way to tell that you are conducting current, even if maybe you're not feeling sensation on the skin, is the metallic taste. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say that, yeah. yeah. I, can, I can taste it in my mouth and I can also feel it a little bit on my teeth. It feels kind of like tingly on my teeth. Yeah, that happens for some people. Yeah, teeth and I taste the metallic. I love the taste of you it You do? Now. I don't? Oh! It makes me think like, <laughs> ooh, yeah, it's working. <laughs> and also, um, I, I know it's working because I can see it around my eye area. Yeah, so um, it's the current hopping back and forth, stimulating the optical nerve, and that's why you see that little bit of light when your eyes are closed. And then there's other things that you can do just to enhance each treatment. So one is to drink water before your treatment, making sure that you are internally hydrated. Another is to use topical hydrating products. Any water-based serum can be applied underneath your conductivity gel. And again, microcurrent pushes products deeper. It enhances cellular permeability. So you're going to get enhanced absorption of those hydrating products. I like to use hyaluronic acid, like a hyaluronic acid serum. And I have a facial spritzer that I always have on hand to re-wet my face. It's perfect. Okay. So then the next question is from Eloise. She says, please, I'm desperate for something that works on my 11s. I think my favorite way to address the 11s, so that's your Cruceris yeah. here. Mm -hmm. um, it attaches to your corrugators going this way. And so you really want to stretch them apart. So there's two ways you can do this with the QT Plus. One is use one hand to support the skin and glide your QT away from the support, not all the way down the brow, but just kind of like to create a little stretch in the skin using that stretch setting. The other way, and I think my favorite way, is to use the conductivity gloves. gloves. Ah, the gloves. Yeah. yeah. So your QT Plus comes with a lead wire. You plug in your lead wire to the back of your device. Mm -hmm. You plug the lead wire into your gloves, and then you can do the same treatment that I did on Trina during her facial. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take your hands here and you're going to create a stretch, pulling your brows apart. And it really helps to smooth out those 11 lines. I mean, that's my go-to. I will grab my QT Plus if I see my 11s coming in and I put it on stretch. I'll set up a custom routine and I'll just work that area. And it's so satisfying for me because that's a big area of concern for me as well. Not so much this last time I saw Katie, because I've really been working on it, so it wasn't a concern for me. Yeah, it's pretty minimal. I Whenever I know. see it coming in, I'm working on it. So that's why I love the QT Plus. I can just grab it and do a quick stretch routine on that area, a couple minutes, and be done. This, I think, might segue into another person's questions, kind of looking down the list. Yeah. But you get instant and cumulative results with this. Yeah, that was a question from Pretty Folk. She asked, how long do microcurrent results last? Yeah, so each initial treatment will last about 24 to 48 hours, um, at least a home treatment. Some of our professional treatments, I know your last facial, you said you saw results for a week. Almost a week, I would say. Like my face was just looking amazing and lifted and so smooth and amazing for almost an entire week. The area that I noticed the most was my hood. It lasted so much longer than I would have thought. And it's because I'm such a frequent microcurrent user. And that goes to show you how the results really are cumulative and how much a professional facial can take you to that next level. And I am hooked. Totally. <laughs> and then on the other side too, it's like, I'll see clients once a month and they don't do anything at home. And I still mm. see progression in each of our facials. So you really do get a build on the work you've done previously. 
Yeah, so there's short-term and long-term effects. Totally. That's good to know. So don't give up. Keep going, everyone. Yeah. And then this last question that I have is about sheet masks. I know that's a really hot topic. Sunny asks, can you discuss the use of sheet masks with the QT Plus and what setting should I be using? So setting. Well, first, yes, you can definitely use sheet masks with your QT Plus. And settings. So I personally like to do the stretch mode mm -hmm. on a lower intensity when I'm using a sheet mask. Um, technically, you could do five minutes of each, first lift, then stretch. But again, keep it on a lower intensity. When you're using the sheet mask, it's diffused across it. We're not targeting specific muscles. Targeting muscles is where you want to ramp up that intensity. But Sunny's next question is, can the Q-tip probes be used with the QT Plus? So unfortunately, the Q-tip probes don't work with the QT Plus. They do, however, work with all of the other microphone devices. So, but Katie, how would I use a sheet mask? Because I actually haven't done that yet. If I have the QT Plus, how would I connect it to the sheet mask? Like, how would that work? So you could do it the exact same way that I did it in the treatment, using those little alligator clips. Mm. Those clips you can purchase on 70 Wellness's site under accessories. They're very inexpensive. They attach to your lead wire, and you're just going to hook a clip onto either side of your sheet mask. The other way to do it is with the adhesive patches. And I like to use the adhesive patches in a specific way. So I'll put one patch on the sheet mask, usually in the center of my forehead, and I'll put the other patch kind of towards my armpit down onto my skin. Because there isn't any gel or anything and you are stimulating the area, you might get a little redness or flushing underneath that patch. But what I really love is that it hops the current back and forth between the two and you get a really nice push. A push of the serum into your face from the sheet mask? A push of the serum into your face, but also a very gentle lymphatic effect. Keep all of your questions coming because we're going to be filming again and we love to answer all of your questions. So if there are other questions that we didn't answer in this specific video, drop them down in the comments below and we can answer them in the next video. So now we saved the very exciting part for the end of the video, our giveaway announcement. The best for last. <laughs> so enter to win a Myolith QT Plus. So we're giving away two, one for each of our channels. We're gonna have a link at the bottom of this video and you're going to click on the link to enter our giveaway. This was so much fun, Trina. I have to agree. It's so wonderful for you to be back in LA and to be working with you it. and learning so much from you. I can't tell you how beautiful I feel after I get a facial Aww, from you. You're always beautiful. I really look forward to seeing you and learning from you and I cannot wait to start using all these tips and tricks I've learned today with my at-home devices. I love that. <laughs> I'm so happy that I could help. That is all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun teaming up with Katie for this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, leave a comment, share with a friend. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and subscribe to Katie's channel so you don't miss any of the exciting videos that are launching soon as part of this collaboration.